Hi class, I'm going to walk you through how to create your VoiceThread presentation. Scroll down to week 13. So click on the link VoiceThread website. At this point, you'll want to use your Ithaca email address and then click submit. You'll then be redirected to the VoiceThread homepage. At this point, you're going to add your own VoiceThread. So click on the top sign here and then create new VoiceThread and then you're going to add media. So you want to click on the plus sign and then you're going to upload from your computer the actual presentation that you created. So I highly recommend that students start with a Google Slides presentation. So you can come to the website slidescarnival.com and they have hundreds of templates. So I've been using for this class various templates in education. So you may recognize uh, this one that I just used the other day in class. And so you simply click on the template and I scroll down, I click on Google Slides, make a copy, and I now have a copy and I can move it to my own Google Drive folder if you use folders or you can just save it on my drive either way is fine. So once I create my presentation, then I can go to file and then I can download it either as a PDF or you can download it as PowerPoint. I download it onto my computer. I'm going to go back to the voice thread. I click my computer, locate the file on my computer, and then you want to include a title. So include your name and then the title of the presentation. Here, you can also upload a MP3 or MP4 file if you completed an interview. So for the interviews, you're only going to upload less than five minutes of content. Okay, so the interview, let's say, did take uh, 20 minutes to actually complete. We only want five minutes. And if you need to trim it or edit it, you can use QuickTime on your Mac and it allows you to uh, trim and edit the beginning and the end for free. There's no cost to that. If you have a PC, you can simply Google how to edit video. And what comes on Google is v Vimeo. You can use that and it says that it's free. And you can also try uh, other applications. And so now you can see that all of my slides have been uploaded and then you can also add that video. Now, with doing the interview, everyone at Ithaca College has access to a Zoom account. So you can go into Zoom and actually schedule a meeting. So let's say I do that right here and I save and then I start the meeting and then I open it up. And so you have the option to actually record that session. And so I simply hit the record button and then it's recording the actual meeting. And so you could have that interview. So we're watching that the interview takes place and we can hear what the person has to say. But it is important if you do use Zoom that you ask for permission to from the person to have the content recorded and then also let that person know that at any time that they change their mind that they can retract their actual uh, interview, okay? So, um, so that's really important that a person feels comfortable. Once I stop the recording, Ithaca College will send you an email indicating that the interview is ready for you to download. So it basically looks like this. So you get this, uh, you'll open up the email and you'll get this recording and then you just download that actual uh, video file. And it's a pretty small file, which is good because VoiceThread kind of has limits in terms of the size of the file that you can upload. So let me go back. So then I go here and I click on that link again, the plus sign, and then I upload the video file once again. Once I upload the file, the cool thing about VoiceThread I can actually take this uh, video and actually move it to any part of the presentation. So if you want it to come sooner or after a particular slide, so that way we will have your presentation and you'll be narrating and you'll like set up for the audience that you conducted an interview and then we'll watch the interview 
and then the presentation continues as normal. So then once you are uploaded all the content, you just simply hit share and return and then submit. And that's basically it. So you're ready uh, to start narrating now. So to narrate, I simply go and I'm going to click on my presentation. The default is for it to actually automatically start going from slide to slide. So I just hit the stop button there and I over here on the far right, there's these little arrows so I can now begin my presentation. So then to do that, to start narrating, I hit the little plus sign here and then I'm going to hit the little microphone and now it's recording. Okay. And so it's recording whatever I'm saying as of right now. So then I can hit the little pencil if I actually wanted to point anything out on the screen and then I'm now ready for the next slide. So I hit this slide this little arrow here and now it's narrating my voice here. So again, if I wanted to use the pencil, I can always do that. And then if I need to go back, it goes back to the slide. And so then it's still narrating, recording the whole thing. And I continue with my presentation and uh, let me see if that video has actually already been added or not. And then it will start actually playing the, there it is. Um, playing my actual That's recording. <laughs> you can see my apartment there. And one can even like narrate over this as well, or you can, you know, draw over this as well. And again, you just continue, hit the arrow here and, uh, and continue with the presentation to narrate it. When you're done, um, you then it uploads it. If you want to do it over again, you can. If you want to keep recording, then you just hit record more and it continues recording where you last left off. So now it's recording again. So let's say you just kind of needed a little break and then I hit stop and now I know for sure I'm all done. Uh, and then I can now save it. If you, don't, it's recording. If you don't okay. like it, then and you hit so cancel. So now my audio has been added. So you see here, and then the next step would be for you guys to reply to each other's presentations. So to do that, to re you want to reply directly. So you simply hit the, the little arrow here mm -hmm. and then you reply with the audio commentary. Now I know the, what is available to you is to type. And so that is available to you, but keep in mind that for many people, including myself, uh, who have vision problems to actually read the font is very, very difficult. So to make your content accessible to everyone, I highly recommend you use the audio commentary here. And then uh, other one last final thing is to uh, modify your profile pic. So that way we can know who's talking and we can put a voice to a face. To do that in the top right corner, you see the icon and then you hit the pencil to modify the profile pic. Okay, so um, the default is just to include your initials, but um, people may not remember people's initials. And, uh, and then also with hearing the voice, some people may not remember whose voice is whose. And so kind of keep that in mind. It is helpful for us to put a face to a voice by simply changing your profile pic. So if you can take a second to do that, that would also be greatly appreciated.